It's great, isn't it? Like banging your head against a brick wall. Lovely. When it stops. We'll go to office then. Yep. And I'm on Shandy. With Linda. Linda, we're off to the road. Yeah, wait your sweat. Right, I'm gonna call a cab. Do you want one to take you home? No, I don't fancy sitting in the flat on my own all night. Janice and the girls normally come in here on Friday night. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll go out with them. I'll have a girls' night out. Oh, hi, it's uh, Mike Baldwin here. Yeah. I'm at the Rose Return, Coronation Street. Well, as soon as you can. I'm going into town. OK, thank you. Well, if your idea of a good night out is boozing with Janice, Gwen and the freak formerly known as Harold, good luck to you. Don't worry about me. I shall enjoy myself. <laughs> What's the problem? What's the old man want now? I've no idea. But I know what I want. How do you mean? I thought you were here with a message from Dad. No. But I've got a message from me. I'm lonely. Look, Linda, this isn't a good idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. You don't know what you do to me. Don't I? But I'm willing to learn. Why don't you tell me? Trousers back on for. I thought the drinks were for half time. <coughs> Cheers. Cheers, Mike. Oh. Ignore it. No, I'd better answer it. The lights are on. They'll know someone's home. Well, whoever it is, get rid of them and hurry back. Hmm. Hello, sunshine. Come on, they're never thin. What are you doing here, Dad? Yeah, so did I. Got the restroom. Message from Mary to say he couldn't make it. Said he'd catch up with me sometime. I felt I'd phone him and tell him to stuff it, but need his trade, so... <laughs> anyway, Linda's out boozing with her dog rough mate somewhere, so I thought we could go and eat. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Grab your coat and let's go then. Hang on a minute. That's Linda's. What the hell's it doing here? <coughs> Mike! What a nice surprise. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought you were out boozing with your mates. Well, I was, till they started having a go at Mark. They were saying he's as bad as you. So, I gave him a rollicky and I came over here. Well, good for you. I came to tell Mark the sacrifice I'd made for him. You see, I'd bought around, they hadn't. Well, it's your fault for drinking with that rubbish, isn't it? Come on, grab your coat, let's go. Oh, great. I'm hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> 